I can do bird's mouth now. See? <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> Ready? Got all your stuff. I have my second set of gloves in case my hands get too hot in these. Oh, yeah. You got to have different levels of intensity, right? Well, you do because the weather changes so much out here. Have you seen our actor? <laughs> he looks so sad. Oh, hi, her. Don't wag your tail, buddy. Don't give it up. Hi, hey. buddy boy. Hi. Hi, buddy boy. How are you? Hi, You've mister. been telling everybody what you've been up to See, today. Hey, that's my spot, Nala. Oh, boy. Look at the pin. Throws his tantrums. Food everywhere on the ground. <laughs> That's what he does. You know those goats are going to eat that food of yours whenever they get uh, here. Uh, uh, oh, goodness. Oh, do you want some mud, Dad? Yeah, we got to get mud first thing when we come out, huh? Hey, guys. Welcome back to KNS Get Out. We actually worked Thanksgiving Day after mm -hmm. we got done with some family stuff. Yep. Which was great. It's what we wanted to do. Yep. And then yesterday was Black Friday. I ain't going out and shopping. So no. we worked again. But that's what we enjoy, the work. Yeah. It's good. I'm really excited about what I get to do today because Kyle has our structure done to the point that I can start putting my pallet planks on the side for siding. Super excited about that. It's the least I could do. She's like, hey, I just want you to build this whole goat shelter, the Taj Mahal of goat shelters, so I can put some planks up. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> it. But that's great, look at this. You take care of the structure, I'll take care of the pretty and function. Is that kind of how we are in life? Yeah. I'm the structure, so. you're the pretty and the function. <laughs> so this, again, you guys know, it's taken me longer than uh, it may take a professional framer or a contractor or a handyman or a novice uh, a person who's never done this before. They would even beat me. It's official. But I don't care. I really don't. I'm feeling so good about this. Check out this angle. Check You've this out. You've learned so much along the way. I have. I can do bird's mouth now. See? <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> Okay, can, can what's what's my angle here? Look at these rafters. Can you see? Can you see how level those are? Come on. I don't know. I I'm imagining everybody's at home cheering and clapping right now. Like, man, that guy's good. You keep telling yourself that. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna <laughs> tell myself. So I notched the rafters yesterday and it's not easy. I had seen an Instagram hack where basically you can use your speed square. Set every rafter up that you want, and you can kind of just trace up the side. So you take your speed square and you run it vertically, boop, give yourself a line, and then you set it up here on top using the other side of it. It's like a half inch thick, run it this way, and it makes that little line there. Not sure if you can see where I did it with the Sharpie. And then to cut it out, that was another fight. I started with a circular saw, not the easiest thing, at least not the way I was doing it, and wasn't able to get all the way through. So I kind of had to break it, file it, cut it, I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. If you're ever building a roof, just call me. I can tell you everything you need to know, except for how to do it right. <laughs> just kidding. I think this is done right. You no, did great. You it's did really awesome. good. I did, uh, I did a couple few of them, and then I traced them. I quit doing the little trick that I had. So if by about the third attempt, I figured out if I drew, if I traced on both sides of the two by four, then I could cut with the circular saw kind of overcut my lines just a little bit and flip it over, do it again, and then those little pieces will fall right out. But you wanna see some mistakes? Why not? Who, who does everything right the first time? Not this guy. So those little gaps, gap, gap, gap. Obviously, I thought I had traced well enough as I was coming down, and I did, but turns out my two by six, this one, contacting this post, comes out just a little ways. So my notches are off. But I'm not wasting $7 boards. Those are 10 foot two by fours treated, not prime, but still. I think they're like seven or eight bucks a pop. I ain't doing it. So we're just gonna live with the little notches sitting off those raptures. Yes, I think it's gonna be just fine. Next phase, Shannon is gonna start beautifying. She's gonna get all of our panels, planks and everything, start getting them up on the sides. We kind of repositioned and added some two by fours down here that make her math just a little bit easier. And for me, uh, here's, here's a lesson if you're ever doing this. Build yourself a real top cap. Don't do what I did. So I, I used my two by fours and then I put my two by sixes up with my braces. I went over the four by four by about a half inch. I did that all the way across and that was to give me 
a little bit of leeway here and I thought I was just gonna come over on the overhang and have another one right there. Problem is Shannon needs some kind of flush face to put those planks on so that we have some siding up here. And I was hoping to run vertical supports along the two by six right there Boop. up to a two by four. So I've got to go pick up some more two by fours and I'm going to try to do a custom notch for the four by four so that it stays level with the rest of the rafters. That's kind of the update on the goat shelter, guys. I did get a support beam across there, but man, I hung from that. If you go, uh, go on Facebook and Instagram, I jumped up there, hung from that, no big deal, and it is structurally sound. This thing is, is I, we could live in it. We might live in it. It's probably about as many square feet as our camper. Do you want to live in it, babe? I don't want to live in it. <laughs> you don't think Mario- I want our goats and Herc to live in it. You don't think Mario and Luigi would let us live in there with them? Well, I'm sure they would. Herc would share his bed. Yeah, he would. Okay, so Shannon and I have our caffeine and the dogs are full of energy. We're gonna walk them around the trails, kind of our daily thing. Wears them out help just them a little bit. Help them burn some energy. <laughs> help them some burn some energy. Help us kind of plan our day, figure out what we're doing. So here's the thing though. If we don't, if we don't take them on a walk and let them burn some energy, when we're trying to do anything, if they are out, they're constantly in our faces. <laughs> well. Or wandering off and we have to go get them and that's true. you know. Let me go They're grab doing your monster. A really good job at hanging out together and being good for us while we're working. But it is something else you gotta think about while you're trying to focus and pay attention. So we leave them out as long as we can while they're bearable. And then when Nala's ready to go inside, we put her in, put Herc in the pen, and buckle down and get stuff done. Okay, well, I'm gonna go rile them up. We're gonna take a walk and then we'll come back and see what we've got on the plate for today. Yeah, I'm ready to start putting some planks up. Hey, I do have a question for you guys. Shannon and I are like officially on fire for this whole building and construction thing. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not saying we're great at it, but I am saying that we're trying really hard and it seems to be working out when we do. We are so excited and we are nightly dreaming and talking about, okay, now that we've done this with the goat shelter from scratch in the side of a hill, a lot of things we've learned, still some things I'm concerned about as far as like water drainage and things like that, but we're gonna address it and we're gonna learn. I'll tell you, one of the most prevalent things that I learned is you need a good place for your tools. You need a consistent place you can set your tool down. It's there when you go back for it because you put a tool down and your brain is on seven and three eighths plus four and a quarter, you're not gonna remember where you put that tool down. So we're kind of in the market for like tool belts. Uh, I found some really cool bucket solutions. You put them inside a five gallon bucket, pockets all hang around it what do you guys use or do you just do what we did and throw stuff down on the ground leave it in your four-wheeler trailer for it whenever you actually need it yeah hey do you got the uh, nail gun i don't know so i'm in the market for a good solution for a place to kind of keep your tools while you're actually working and i like the idea of a tool belt for projects whenever you're like elbow deep and you're going four five six seven eight hours straight but maybe that's a little bit overkill when you're just doing a couple things i don't know let me know what you think Suspenders, I need them. I don't know, maybe you should get overalls. Overalls and a tool belt with suspenders. Oh man, now we're talking. No bear, this way. Do you keep forgetting where the trail is, silly girl? Tell him, Nala, tell him. Where do you find a Gatorade bottle? He found that down in the woods. He was having a blast playing with it earlier while you were talking. It was it was really cute actually. Meow. Tell him no. <laughs> tell him. You tell him who's boss. He just <laughs> runs circles around her. They uh, have possession wars over sticks. The fortunate thing is, don't tell Nala, but he's being a little nice. I know the big guy could just rip that and run. And she's got one heck of a jaw on her. She's a chewer, but she ain't built quite like him. <laughs> he says, I just want to play with you. Oh. 
But Nala likes to use her angles. She knows where he's gonna cut. Oh, no, no more interest in that stick. <laughs> he's like, come on, Nala, He's like, come didn't, on. didn't you want this stick? You tired, Nala. She says, I gotta recharge a little bit here. Watch for that hindquarters whip. He uses that butt like a weapon. There it is. Tell him no. I see guys all the time in YouTube videos and blogs and things that I read making custom jigs to perform little tasks that just make their lives a little bit easier. I think I'm starting to pick up on that a bit. So, I want to square off the ends of those two by fours on both the front and the back. And that way I can put a two by four along them that is perpendicular to the ground. And so then I'll run a two by four all the way across. I'll have two by fours all the way around, which will help push the water and snow and things off and not just run down inside the shelter. Yeah, my jig, it's just gonna be a square two by six, but it's custom nonetheless. So these are the uh, two by fours I'm talking about. You see how they're obviously gonna be at an angle because the roof is at an angle. So I know that I got about 12 inches out to here cause that was kind of how I cut them. So this is only 11 and a half inches long. All of these are at least 11 and a half inches long. And now I can just come through with my circular saw. I'll put a line on all of them and just whip that off.
Okay, so you got all of your ends cut. Now what are you up to? Well, we are officially out of recycled materials, so I went to the old uh, orange roof. Orange roof? <laughs> okay. I know. We'll figure it out one of these days. And I got some more 2x4s. I don't have a truck or trailer built for hauling 20-foot boards. They did have those. So I just opted for more of the 10-foots. 10 10-foots? 10 and so Close I'm, enough, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to span this guy with the cap with two 10-footers, or I have a 10 if I have an 8 left. Anyway... I'm not going to run a full length board, which I would love to, but just not practical. So what you're going to witness is me trying to cut custom bird's mouth notches in this guy to get it at the same level as the rest of my rafters. It's going to be a different notch than the others, but hopefully I get it about the same. I have faith in you. Uh, this one, I'll show you guys that little uh, hack that I found so that if any of you are trying to do this, you can kind of make it a little bit easier on yourself. Careful, it's slick. Yeah, it, we got a lot of rain, a lot of rain, and it's muddy. I'm glad we didn't put the OSB down yesterday, though. Yeah, we did have to stop yesterday because of the rain. Yeah. Yep, sure did. Kind of how it goes, though, right? Yeah. Okay, so I want this one to be on center with the 4x4 posts because I need you to be able to have that flat face for your planks, right? Yes. Okay, so I got my overhang pretty close. I know that I shaved about a half inch to three quarters of an inch off to get the flat face on the others. And I haven't done the front yet just because I wanna make sure I can get these right this way. This is my official eyeball technique, you know? I think it's great. Eyeballing it. So we're gonna place our rafter where we want it. We're gonna put our speed square flush with that rafter. And we're just gonna draw a vertical line straight up the side of this board. Now what I did on the other ones, I came across, this is about a three quarters of an inch thick here. And so I was able to do this and draw my line over and be consistent on those others. But this one, I can't have sit as deeply as the others or else we're not gonna sit flush. So I'm gonna use a marker that's about half of that width, if not a little bit less, which would be ideal. See if I can't get a straight line with that and we'll cut a shallower notch. I don't recommend doing it like this, but whatever. We're gonna try it. It's just a baby notch. And then we'll cut that part out. And because we use this four by four as a reference, this will it should fit right down on top of it. And I'm hoping to keep that flush. What I'm also gonna do though, probably get this notch put in and then draw that one. Yeah, because you want to make sure that it works first. Since I don't have a template, let me go ahead and draw these lines on the other side too so I can cut it with the circular saw like I did the others. And then we'll uh, test fit it and I will mark up the front notch. Okay. So I'm going to use my circular saw to cut these notches. Keep in mind, your saw blade is a circle. So you don't really get a good cut right into the corner. And that's why I overcut them just a little bit. But I try to stay at less than a third of the width of the 2x4 so that I'm not degrading the uh, structural integrity of the board. And that is a bird's mouth notch. You want to make sure, you know, if I overcut it a little bit and have those little lines in there, not a big deal, but you just want to make sure that this is really clean in here. A lot of times if you don't use your circular saw or you don't do both sides like I did, you'll have a bunch of little, kind of like a hinge on a tree when you cut it down and you have to file that stuff out because you really want this to sit right in that little angle. Well, let's test fit this one. We'll draw the front one and then I'm not going to use this as a stencil for the other one just because we're on two opposite ends of it. And I'll just do uh, the little hack again. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to have to cut that little corner of that 2 by 6 with a reciprocating saw so this will sit down flush.
Now we're cooking. That is sufficient to me. What do you think? I say that looks great. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and mark and notch the top piece. Wish me luck. Good luck. What do you think? I think it's good. This guy I might have went a little short on, but it's making contact with all of those. So I'm not gonna go shaving them down just for that one. I'll still be able to get a nail across it to stay in. Sounds good. All right, I just gotta do the other side and then I guess get my caps on and then I can put the OSB up. That's great. Yeah. So I got as far as the boards I have cut, and this is how far I've gotten. Half a wall done. My goal was to get this whole entire wall done, and I've been kind of throwing around the idea of making a window right here, but for the sake of it being winter and just needing to get this done right now, I think that we're just gonna go ahead and close it off. I'm gonna have Kyle put a couple more two by fours up here for bracing for me. And that way I can continue to go all the way up and get this thing knocked out. So once I get the braces up there, I can continue putting more planks on and then I'll just work my way around the building. That's actually a pretty fun little part to, to do. You do have to be precise and Kyle had to remind me to take my time and not go too fast because then you end up with unlevel boards or gaps here and there, but we're gonna call those airflow gaps. No big deal. But we're making progress. Well, guys, we're going to get this done one of these days. Everything takes time. We just need the weather to play along. Now that we're past the holidays, we should be able to get back on track, not have as many break times, and we can just kind of get in a rhythm and keep going. And, you know, learning process. Yeah. Weather, holidays, all the Editing. Excuses. It all takes time, oh, yeah. everybody. <laughs> all the rest of the work around it. <laughs> it's okay. We're making great progress. I feel good about it. You know, you can rush through these things, but just like we've done everything else thus far, it's one day at a time. We're learning as we go. And I think all of the details and information that have gone into it will help us down the road. Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, we hope you had an awesome holiday weekend with your family, friends, whomever. We had a great time and we really appreciate you guys coming by. Thank you for your support, all the advice on how to finish this thing out. And as always, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. You're so short. I'm never going to stop being short, babe. I'm I always going to be short. I don't want you to. What if we were the same height? Man, wouldn't that be weird? Hey guys, welcome back to K&S Get Out. I shrunk, Shannon grew. We're the same height. I don't know how you live down here. It's kind of scary down here. Yeah, you just look at the back of people's heads all the time. I was gonna say, I can't see anything. Hello? Like, you can't even see over aisles at Walmart or anything, can you? No. How do you do this?